Hello everybody, today I will be showing you how to create your own Minecraft Java Edition server for Windows PCs. So first what you're going to want to do is press the Windows button and R at the same time. A box like this should pop up. Now what you're going to want to do is type in CMD in that box, click OK, and then this command prompt should pop up with your username. All you have to do now is type in ipconfig with no spaces and no capital letters and click enter. Now this will display all of your IPs. Um, in here you need to find your internal IP. Um, mine for example is on a place all on its own kind of over here it is four digits long. If you can't find this there are tutorials all over the internet for this so find your internal IP and make sure to either copy it or remember it and then exit out of this go into any browser and type in that IP address into your search bar it may take a while to load but once you get there you will get to your Wi-Fi providers website gateway website I mean and if this is your first time ever being here, your username will be admin and your password will be password. It will probably tell you to change your password to something more secure. So you definitely need to write that down just in case you ever need to come back here later. So click log in. And this will be different for everyone depending on what your Wi-Fi provider is. Mine is Xfinity, so this is what mine looks like. So what you're going to want to do is find somewhere where it says either network or advanced and find um, find a place that says port forwarding so in my case it's an advanced and then port forwarding um, usually this is where most people will set up their server or set up their port forwarding but for me since I have Xfinity it actually redirects me to Xfinity or to my XFi to set it up so if you have Xfinity go ahead and do that go to network and advanced settings and port forwarding and once you're here again it will look different but it it will be about the same process just try to follow what I'm doing here so click on add port forward or add port um, it will say to select a device so what you're gonna wanna do is select your computer that you are on right now if you don't know the name of your computer go to your click on your Windows button and type in control panel and then go to system and security system and right there should be the name of your computer so for example mine is called desktop js 4 v 2 eb so that is the one that I will select on here as you can see it's right here as long as it's connected to the internet it should be there next up um, most um, most of you probably will not have this unless you have Xfinity again but Xfinity is graciously provides all of these default setups so if you have Xfinity click Minecraft and everything is already set up for you but if you don't there should be a place that says port number so in that um, area you want to type in 25565 and that is the same for every single person watching sometimes it will say starting port number and ending port number just type in 25565 for both of them for protocol, keep it as TCP slash UDP and add the port. I'm not going to add it because I already have it added. So what port forwarding basically does is just allow other players to be able to join your game. And once you're done doing that, what you're going to want to do is go to Google and type in Minecraft server. And it should be the top link. It is the official Minecraft.net website. Just click on that and it should bring you to this. This will be different for every version of Minecraft that they come out with, but it looks about the same for each version. So what you're going to want to do is download Minecraft server, and for me, I'm on 1.14.1. So just click on that, and it will download this jar, .jar file, which Google Chrome for some reason doesn't consider safe, but trust me, it is safe. It is on the official Minecraft website they would not ever make you download a virus on your computer so click keep and then once you have done that open your file explorer and go to downloads and your dot jar file should be right there 
Now what you're going to want to do is create a folder for your Minecraft server to be in. You can put this anywhere you want and call it whatever you want. I have already created a, a file called Minecraft server. So all you're going to want to do is just cut and paste or just drag your .jar file into your folder. Then go into your folder and double click on your .jar file and it should create three new files. So these two you don't really have to worry about right now, but the one you want to look at is eula.txt. You're going to want to open that and change false right here to true with no spaces and no caps and then click save and just close out of this and then double click on the .jar file again and it should open a new window. Now this is your new Minecraft world. It is actually setting up the and creating your new world right now. And you can actually run your server like this if you want to, but I would highly recommend upgrading the RAM on your server because this server only runs one gigabyte of RAM, which means that when people join, it will be laggy and skippy, or if you're moving too fast or falling through the air, you might teleport or skip somewhere. It's really, really bad. So I would recommend upgrading it and I will show you how to do that right now. So first what you're gonna do is close this out. And um, just for future reference, when you close that out, that shuts down the server that has to be open in order for the server to be up. And if you want to bring the server back up, all you do is click on the .jar file again. But what you're gonna wanna do to upgrade it is click on your Windows button and type in Control Panel and go to system and security and system yet again and where it says where it says installed memory ram and then it will show your ram on your computer in my case i have 16 gigabytes of ram that's what a lot of people have on their computers especially if you have a gaming computer but many casual computers have four or eight gigabytes of ram so i would say use a fourth or less of your RAM um, depending on how much you have so since I have 16 gigabytes of RAM I'm going to use I'm going to put four gigabytes of RAM into my server if you have eight gigabytes of RAM on your computer I would put about two or three gigabytes of RAM in total onto your uh, server so once you know how much you're going to put on into your server you want to go into your um, server folder and right click anywhere and then go to new text document this this one won't matter so you can name it whatever you want go back to the minecraft server page and copy this purple looking text right here and then go back into your notepad and paste it but this is actually not right yet so it will say minecraft underscore server and then whatever the minecraft version is by default, but what you're going to want to do is change it to whatever your .jar file is. Mine says Minecraft underscore server dot 1.14.1 .jar. So I'm just going to highlight that and delete it and replace it with whatever my .jar file is called. So my .jar file is called server.jar. That's what they have been calling them lately. So I'm just going to type in server.jar. And then after you're done with this, um, you can see over here it says 1024 M this is actually how many gigabytes is put towards your server so 1024 is equal to 1 gigabyte of RAM so depending on how many gigabytes of RAM you're going to want to change it so since 1024 is equal to 1 gigabyte of RAM all you're going to want to do is get a calculator and multiply that by how many gigabytes of RAM you want to put into your server and I want to put 4 in my example and 1024 times 4 is 4096 so I'm going to replace this with 4096 and do the same thing on the other side over here I'm going to put in 4096 and then after you are done with that go to file save as and then name this start or run or whatever will tell you that this is the document that you need to click on to start up your server and then after your title, you must put .bat. And then after that, go to text documents, click on all files, and then click save. And now you can exit out of this and you can delete that text document or do whatever the heck you want with it. It doesn't really matter anymore. 
So now you have your start.bat file. So you're going to want to click on that to start up your server. And this will start up your server from now on. Do not click on the .jar file to start up your server. Click on the start.bat or whatever you called it, .bat file to start up your server. And this will start up your server correctly with the number of gigabytes that you allocated towards your server. So after you have done this, all you need to do now is have people join your server. So just to make sure that it's actually working, you're going to want to open the latest version of vanilla Minecraft. Make sure you're on the same version. So mine was 1.14.1, so I'm going to open 1.14.1. So now that you have Minecraft open, you're going to want to click on multiplayer. And also, you must have your server open. I want to mention that. Again, it must be open for the server to be up. So once it's open... Oh, and make sure it's also loaded all the way. So at the end, it should say help in um, quotation marks. That means that it is done loading. So what you're going to want to do is go to direct connect and type in local host and click enter. After you do that, you should join the world and this is your world. You can do whatever you want in this. By default, it will be in survival. I will show you how to change some of that later on, but this means that it is working. If you ever want to join your own server, type in local host and that is what you should use, but you are the only one who can use that. So in order to have friends join, what you're going to want to do is find what your IPv4 address is. Now to do this, you can simply go to Google and type in what is my IPv4 address and clicking on the first website, what is my IP.host should give you your IPv4 address. Now you do not want to give away this address to just anyone because people can use it to hack you, but if you're just giving it to a friend, then you can do that. All you want to do is copy and paste it and then give it to your friend. When your friend gets your IP address, all they have to do is go to multiplayer and click add server or direct connect and just paste your IP address in here and click join server. And as long as the server is up, they should be able to join just fine from just about anywhere in the world. So as I said, you should not hand out your IPv4 address to just anyone. You can make your own custom IP for your server. There are tons of tutorials online. I'm not going to explain it because it would take a whole other video just to do so. But I'm going to, I am going to talk about editing your server a little bit. So what you're going to want to do is close your server down and click on um, one of these text documents that is called server.properties. So here are a ton of server properties. So here you can, you can change um, what this right here is the little text under your server. By default, it'll say a Minecraft server and you can change that to whatever you want. You can also change um, the max build height. You can change the view distance. You can change the game mode if you want. Do not mess with the server IP. That doesn't do anything. That will just mess up your thing. You can change the world name if you want, but it will create a new world if you change the name of the world. Keep that in mind. By default, the max players is 20. You can change this to whatever you want, but keep in mind that the more players you have in the game, the more RAM you're going to want to put towards your server. There is a whole Wikipedia page um, telling you how much RAM you should put in your server for how many players you want to have in your game. Here you can turn off PVP, change the difficulty and all that kind of stuff. Make it so that if someone is AFK for a certain amount of time, they will get kicked. But while in game, to use things like commands, you're going to want to make yourself a, a um, operator. So when you join your own server, you will be the only one who can make anyone an operator. So at first, as you can see, I'm in survival mode. If I try to do game mode creative, then it will not work. It says it is an unknown command or that I do not have permissions to use that command. So what you're going to want to do is go back to your command prompt and all you have to type in is op space and then your username. Mine is talkative. And then after you do that, it should say that you were um, upgraded to an operator. So what this means is that you can type in commands and you can use cheats. So now I can use game mode creative and now I can go into creative mode as much as I please and I can use 
anything I want. Now, no one else in the game will be able to use these um, cheats unless you also promote them to an operator. So if you want to promote someone else, all you have to do is type in OP and then their username and it will promote them to an operator. If you want to deop someone, you can just do deop and then their name. And as you can see, I just deopt myself, but it is okay because all I have to do is go back into the prompt again and opt myself. And be careful who you operate because operators can ban people and kick people from your server. So make sure you make trustworthy people your operators. They can also change the game mode and all that stuff and do cheats and that's no fun if you're trying to play a legit survival game. So yeah, that's about all you're going to need to know to set up your own server. If you hold tab, you can see your um, face and everyone in the game. I'm the only one in the game right now, so obviously I'm the only one who will show up on the server list. And yeah, that's about it. This server will continue to run as long as your command prompt is open. So even if absolutely no one is in the game, the server will still be open and running. So make sure that if you don't want it to be running, then you need to close your thing. And want your friends to be able to play on it overnight or something while you're asleep you need to keep your computer on and you need to keep the server running but you do not need to be in the game yourself you just need this little command prompt right here to be up and that is it sorry i went fast there are tons of tutorials out there if you want to go more in depth and you can visit the minecraft subreddit they are very great for helping people trying to set up servers or you can visit the Minecraft forums if you need any help.